However, I think brutally honest, if I zoom back out again, oh, well, I managed to get that the right way around, get yourself one of these instead, because that's my far more useful, the percentage. Howdy, it's Matt. In this episode, we are going to be taking a look at the URUAV MC6S battery tester, S-Bus, PPM, checker, and the DSM uh, 10, 24 and 2048 protocol tester all in one device. Now, I just want to cut to the chase, which is while this is aesthetically pleasing, and let me plug in a battery and you'll see what I uh, see and what you can see. You can't see that very well. Let's get in there much closer. While this is very aesthetically pleasing, as you'll see, it has, that red's not coming out very well, is it? Uh, while it has very pretty color codes uh, for each of the cells of the battery, the one most important thing I feel for this device uh, is that we're missing a percentage. So those of you which are used to more normal battery testers, that when you're on the flight line, you're just basically looking for, is this battery knackered or not? as the case may be whereas on this one with each individual bar and the voltage is nice and accurate and everything however the brutal reality is that when you're on the flight line is that you just want to go plug it in and go oh that's 94 percent i should use this battery or oh it's four percent i should not fly this battery that's typically what you're looking for on the flight line so if that's what you're looking for go and get yourself one of these battery testers i'll put a link to them in the video description i've been through many of them and they're absolutely fantastic great for just working out is it charged or not okay uh, and of course works with a collection of batteries lipo lifeys lions and nickel metal hydrides and nicads however this one is a little bit quirky as in that it only shows us those bars which we saw a few moments ago uh, and they're not particularly bright. Now I have been and fed back this information back to the creators of this device to say look when you first turn it on it would be fantastic if we had 94 percent pop up on the screen because for the vast majority of uses that's exactly all I want it for. Now I have also seen some other reviewers and they have been absolutely Get scared to um, turn those around. No, it does not blow up if you are the wrong way round. Okay, I bought this one out of my own money, and to be perf perfectly honest, it's a novelty. I like the screen. In fact, I'm not showing it everything to you, which is that if we zoom back in, like so, if we all focus, there we go. You can press this button on the bottom. Uh, and you can then go through, you can connect up a receiver on the side using PPM SBUS or on the top, uh, sorry, bottom, no, where is it? Sorry, on the side, uh, connect up a Spectrum satellite uh, and then if we click that button again, we'll be able to see DSM 1024, DSM 2048 uh, or PPM, okay? So you can make sure that your receiver is working. Now that's a cool feature but I'm not entirely sure that you need that on the flight line if I'm perfectly honest hence why this thing's very much a curiosity uh, and I just wanted to get the very quick version out to you. I did record a much longer version where I showed you how to connect up a receiver to the side and uh, and you could see PPM working and we changed it to SBUS for a different one and we saw SBUS and the values moving with the transmitter. That's all kind of fine and dandy and stuff and could be useful in very rare instances. But I think the brutal reality is that the only reason you would buy this is that if you quite like that first page, if I scroll back in here so you can see it, only if you like that first screen just there where you've got the nice rainbow colors of the battery voltages. If you're quickly able to work out, uh, I will fly that battery from that screen, that's happy days. Maybe it's worth spending a few dollars on it. However, I think brutally honest, if I zoom back out again, oh, well, I managed to get that the right way around, get yourself one of these instead because that's my far more useful the percentage so hopefully they bring out a version 2 or some updated firmware on this one to make it more usable uh, but right now i'm gonna throw it in the flight bag if i stood on it or lost it 
whatever. Get yourself one of these instead. So yeah, not the typical review of what you may have been expecting for this device. I have seen some sketchy reviews of this. Perfectly honest, it is more of a curiosity than anything. But those of you seriously looking for a battery tester, get one of those instead. I'll put a link to it in the video description. So with that said, for myself, Matt, a big thank you to you for joining me here at the workbench to not look at the MC. 6S battery tester, PWM, S-Bus, DSM, or PWM tester, which isn't that useful, to be brutally honest. Instead, like I said, uh, eat yourself one of those. Anyway, from myself, Matt, cheerios!